Hey guys, Bad Infos here and this is GTA 4 Rebellion of Gay Tony. In this video I'll show you all hidden seagull locations in the game, including all the areas surrounding them and we'll pinpoint the spot on the map so we get a better understanding where each one is located. It's possible to collect them all at the beginning of the game before even passing the first mission, however I suggest not doing that, because if you get too far from Tony, the mission will fail and will teleport you back. Instead, I suggest passing the first mission or even better pass for the man who has everything because only after you complete it, you'll be able to use your reward from your seagull hunt. In GTA The Ballad of Gate Tony we have 50 seagulls total, 5 of them are in Broker and Dukes, 2 are on Colony Island, 1 is on Charge Island, 1 again on Happiness Island, 1 in Bohan, 30 six in Algonquin and four are in Alderney City. They glow in a red color and I suggest doing your hunt at night time so you can see them from a distance. I'll be doing it during daytime so you can see the surroundings better. The way to collect a seagull is to shoot it. Any weapon will do and I suggest getting a sniper rifle before you start for the hard to reach ones. With all this said, let's begin the seagull hunt. And welcome guys to Broker, I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. As you can see we have a seagull over here on the bridge leading to Algonquin, so uh, let's shoot it. This is the Creek Street Diner, we have a bunch of storage on the left of us and we have a seagull on the diner itself. You can't miss this seagull, it's in the most beautiful location in the whole city. Look for a huge globe and right next to it you can find it. We have a baseball court here where a bunch of people are doing exercise. This is the baseball court itself and in the center of it is the past. In this alleyway right next to the indie, the core and some other graffiti signs, we have a bunch of boxes as well, we can find the seagull. I'm currently on the bridge leading to Algonquin, this is Algonquin and we usually have a police officer over here but this time he did not spawn which is great, so I can just shoot it. And this one is the only one in Bohan, look for the diary door sign, across the street from this abandoned building we can find this wall and on it is the seagull. You cannot miss this one, it's in the center of this swirly thing, we have a bunch of pipes around, a huge tower as well. There's a children's playground here, even though there's no children in this game, but whatever, we have a few brick buildings in the distance. And the seagull is in the playground. This one could be a little bit confusing, so follow me, look for the Rockstar music and video store across the street from that you can find this small alleyway enter it look right and up and you'll see the seagull and this is where you can find three seagulls right next to each other let's start from this one look for the deli and you can find a few dumpsters over here on the ground you can find the first one the second one is above ground on the fire escape go a little bit over here to the left side cross the street and you can see this seagull also above ground pretty weird but it's how it is and welcome to the park, we have a huge entrance over here on this side. On your left of the entrance is the pesky seagull. Once again this is an entrance to the park but for vehicles on the right side this time we can find this one. And this is the last park seagull, it's on these stairs, it's not difficult to find. Let's shoot it. For this one you should look for the yellow billboard which is right over here across the street from it you can find this one above ground. And this is a seagull which would benefit from a sniper rifle so take your sniper rifle or your M4 or something like that and shoot it from the ground. Of course it's also possible with a pistol. If you wanna find this one you should look for this huge globe, we have the entrance to the park over here and a bunch of funky signs behind me. A pretty cool location for a pigeon, we have a life preserver over here, a bunch of boats, a bunch of stairs, a bunch of benches and people even, so it's not hard to find. 
For this one you should look for FMA Park Systems entrance, we also have a newspaper stand over here and on top of it is the pesky seagull. This is an absolutely gorgeous port, over the city we have a bunch of benches, a bunch of trees, a huge fountain and also a dead seagull. Ho ho ho. This right here is Hercules behind me, you should know what it is exactly, we have a huge billboard over here and the seagull is right next to Hercules. And this right here is Masonet 9, the other club Tony owns, across the street from it we can find this seagull. We have a huge statue over here and this is usually where police officers hang out too, so after you shoot it you're gonna get in trouble. Oh, let's run away. On this bridge leading to Colony Island we have also a seagull on this side of it. This is where Snowstorm, a very cool mission in GTA 4 happens in this abandoned mansion. On the grass however we can find a seagull too. And this is the last seagull on Colony Island, we can see the clock tower in the distance, we have a bunch of pipes over here in this fenced in area and the seagull is also over here. Behind me we can see an Excelsior billboard, in front of me we can see a Wiz billboard and this is the Ron gas station, right next to these things is the seagull. On this very busy street we can see a bunch of construction, in the distance we can see a different seagull. We have two seagulls right next to each other which are very high up, so look for this sign, go across the street and look for this blue marker. Enter it, press E and go right. We can see the first seagull over here, however if you continue walking, pass a few binoculars, on the left side we can see the second one. This one is on the ground right next to our dentes which is a restaurant. Pretty close by we can see a Pisswasser billboard, the Foodsies sign and on top of the sign is the seagull. In Little Italy we can see a bunch of restaurants but we have to look for food center and fresh bricked oven bread. On the ground in front of it is the next one. Once again we have two seagulls right next to each other, the first one is on this yellow sign on top of it, just shoot it and run this way. You're gonna see this blue booth and you can shoot it from here, if you can aim of course. I am currently in Chinatown and we can see a bunch of red, a bunch of white, so this seagull is pretty difficult to spot, it's on this scaffolding. Still in Chinatown we can see a bunch of signs, this green one and this one way one. Look for this sign, it points to the seagull. For this one you should look for a fleek a building with the two giant American flags and at the entrance we can find it. On the right side of Pier 45 we can see these uh, Italian colors, we can also see the Pier 45 sign. On the stairs is the next one. This one is super easy to spot, we can see a bunch of helicopters right behind me which you can use of course for your hunt. I'm currently in a park and in GTA 4 we had a pigeon over here, however in the same park over here we have a seagull. Oh, let's pop it. Pretty close to the water we can see the statue of happiness in the distance, the next seagull is elevated. And this is the last seagull in Ogonquin, it's right next to these docks, we have a bunch of docks over here for lots of boats. And welcome to Alderney City, for this one you should look for the giant rock, however in front of the giant rock we can see a smaller rock with a seagull on top. Once again right next to the water on a rock we have another seagull. For this one you should look for the many 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 flags in the distance, across the street however we can see this blue building and on top of it is our prize. And the last seagull in Alderney city is in the industrial area of town, look for the terror oil sign, you can see a bunch of pipes over here, on one of the pipes is the seagull. And guys welcome to happiness island where the last seagull is located on this giant pier, let's shoot it and now LC is a quieter place. Indeed it is, after you shoot all 50 seagulls you also get a reward, let me show it to you.
and the reward is that an APC is gonna spawn in front of Yusef Amir's construction site after the mission for the man who has everything. And this is why you should do this hunt pretty later on in the game. And with this guys I put an end to this video, thank you for watching, I hope I helped you out. Of course you can check out my other ultimate location guides on all other GTA games in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching and a very special thank you to my lovely Patreon supporters. How's the channel? Elder, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, thank you so much for the support!